Welcome everyone. This is Anta with Repo Products. Today's video is on how to use the new Path of Travel command in Revit 2020. Here I am in Revit 2020 and I have a Revit model open and there are some Path of Travel lines already created and they are these thick red lines right here. If I select it, you'll see it says Path of Travel in the contextual tab and you have a bit of functionality as well. For example, updating that line works should the model geometry change, um, specifying a different line style, and then you know moving it forward or backward if should you need to use it. You'll also know in the properties panel um, some basic data that gives you um, information about it. Um, so how do we actually create this? I'm going to go ahead and do another one down here a little bit. If we go over to the Analyze tab of the ribbon, there is a Route Analysis panel at the end, and there's a little black arrow to the right of that. You want to click this to get into the settings, because in here, you can tell the software what objects you may need for it to ignore so that it can actually go through. And right now, I just have doors checked. We're going to click OK, and then use the actual command called Path of Travel. When I do so, the command line will say, pick path of travel start point. So let's say I go over here and I pick right here. And I tell the software I need you to run out of that room and get out to this door or this area by the door. What happens is it's going to analyze the geometry and try to figure out if it can give you a path. And this, in this instance, it cannot because there's too many obstacles in the way and because I didn't specify additional content for it to ignore. If I do it again and I look at say the men's locker room where there's really not much in the way, if I click here and then again pick over here, it will figure that out and it will put in the geometry because there's nothing impeding it. Whereas over here uh, it may see that this uh, casework, uh, you know, the countertop and the um, paneling and things like that might be obstructing it. So once the geometry is created, you can see that that path of travel is set. And then if you want to tag it, you can head over to the annotate tab of the ribbon and then click tag uh, by category, which is right here. And then click that path of travel line. And it will ask if you have the tag loaded. And if you don't, you need to load it. So we'll head over to the annotate tab, uh, annotate um, folder, and then we'll scroll down and look for path of travel. Click open, and then now we can actually tag that geometry. You'll notice that it shows you the length and it shows you the time it takes to go from that one point to the other point based upon your speed. And it says here, three miles per hour. This other one I have over here, this tag is a generic tag that I created. And all I really wanted to see was the distance. I didn't really care for the, uh, the time. So if I click Edit Family, and we look at that geometry and look at that label, you can see it just says egress line length. Uh, and mine is an egress line length because I created a custom parameter as a shared parameter to figure that data out. So try to, I tried doing this before the path of travel command was allowed and functioning within Revit 2020. The reason I did that is because I actually created a line-based 3D geometry family. And the reason I did that is because if you look at this in 3D, you'll notice that our path of travel detail line work that's in the plan view is not visible in the 3D geometry and in the 3D view. So I decided to make my own where I have 3D geometry being visible. So that is the path of travel command in uh, Revit 2020. And uh, by the way, if you head over to the Manage tab of the ribbon and head over to Additional Settings and go to Line Styles, you can expand this and adjust this column. If you scroll down, you'll see path of travel. <clears throat> the default color is green. I just made mine red, and the default weight is 5, and I changed mine to 7. 
That way it's a little easier for me to see. And that's it. That's the Path of Travel command in Revit 2020. Thank you very much for watching.